Hello again, everybody. Let's open with a word of prayer. Dr. Mender, please wait. Uh, we are sorry, we are a technical Holy God, issue. we thank you for your goodness and watch care. I ask and pray that you would bless us, guide us, and show us your truth. As we try to understand our own humanity and your divinity, we realize that so often we fail. Thank you for your patience with us. And I pray that each of us can reflect that patience with one another. As we study and discuss your word, I want to give you thanks for condescending to be with us today. Amen. Amen. A moment, sorry. Dipe o kangua, so dino urombo. And uh, the French ministry confirmed that we're ready to begin. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, we're ready to go. Thank you. So, in our last presentation, we discussed our relationship with the Levites and Nethanims. And even though we never discussed the subject um, of the Nethanims, in previous <laughs> presentations, I've suggested that the dynamics are the same. Since I began discussing this subject back in September, September this topic has generated almost as much hurt, pain, discontent. Topic Iyakaunza Marwazo, kusa kutsikana. And maybe it's too strong a word to say anger or upsetness with me personally. Pangwe is viraka nyanyo kutsama kutinditi van wakan tonti tsangwira. When compared to the subject of Matthew 13, the wheat and the tears. Tishi compare ne subject ye ya Matthew 13. Back in 2016, when I began to discuss the subject of the wheat and tares, that study generated similar emotions that are being generated today by this study. Chizitzo echocho chakaye unza mai motions akafana na ni andru kuona 
arku unswa ni si zitsu chana. I don't say that just to make the following point. And so ngo shi tawara kutindite point ino tevera. Because it's true, people's emotions have gone to a new height that I haven't seen in quite some time. Nekuti icho kwa di my emotions ya wano anyanyo kuinda kuma kukwirira shaka nyanya shansa ndambo uona kwenku wa refu. Perhaps I am naive. Pangwen din shangu disinga si. And I haven't grown up. We are uncertain da kura. Matured. And certain da matured. Back in 2016, I thought that study would be welcomed by this movement. Kumuna 2016, nda kato fungo tachizitu eji chichato gamchiru wa nivana. For one reason only. It helped explain what was happening in real time in that dispensation. I'm going to say in the movement. Chizitu eji chaka batzi la kutana nguza shwa ito itika panguwa yoyo mu dispensation iri mu katume movement. I could say in the world. Doko na utangu mu nyika. But that, but it wouldn't be the world as we understand it today. Asa hizi nyika sekunzu isa kwa tuna ita msuara nasi. It explain the internal dynamics and the dynamic or the relationship between this movement and everyone else. So katana ngura ma dynamics are internal ni ma dynamics are paka tipe movement ino ni vanu vangu vesi. And the study of the relationship between priests, Levites and Nethanims that I'm referring to now. Chitito che ukama wa paka tipe ma priests, ma Levites ni ma Nethanims ya nduku tana ngura ishi ishi. When I broached it in September this year. Pandaka chi taura mna September kuririno. I thought the members would have a sigh of relief saying, oh yes, it begins to make sense now. That often got my members wa chatota, ah, shanaka, shakuchi, shakuchi wa ni msoro ishi ishi. I was mildly surprised. Asintaka ngufu nduka o shishoma. By the backlash. Ne, backlash. People, people being visibly upset by, I'm going to call it this truth, but you might just say this information. When we should talk some things, we should not care about the chocolate. I'm not going to go to information thing. What I'm about to say is nothing new. Shanda, I'm going to go to the church. It's something that I have taught. Many times before. Chinchanda ka zizi sa. Shaka kaka wand ka. If I can use the term back in the day. Kananika shansa ya varare kuti maswa fura. Which is pre-2018, the midnight cry. Tata shika 2018 pa midnight cry. This movement had a culture. Movement ino ya kanga ii ni culture. An atmosphere, an understanding. Ya kanga ii ni atmosphere ya ya wanayo kunzu. It was generally unspoken, but teachers at the highest level kept on making this very point. Shwa kanga asinga ya yukuta uroanisha asho asi wa zizi siwe pa msoro soro wa karampu wa shizokuru za pointi no tewe rei. I think in that history, there was liberty. A liberty that too often we don't afford others today. One of the points that was made over and over again Ima point ya kaituwa shaka ishi tzokoro za ishi mkura mba ishi tzokoro za kuituwa. Kare koko. These are all the same point, but there's a different phrase. Esa ya ma points, i point one, asipane ma phase ya kasi ya. We, I'll say were, but it's still relevant today. We were the wise. Nisi ati taive, 
definition are teachers. Vakangwara, uh, ne definition yayo. Not preachers. Kwete wa parids. Not pastors. Kwete Not elders. Past. Kwete ma eld. Simply teachers. Vanguwa rivwa zizis. And we had a core set of mostly Old Testament passages that we would go to over and over again. Taira ni ma passages a taira inda kwa akatoto o ku Old Testament. Taira mbati zokoro zata zokoro zashi. And I believe there was a deep and broad, well-established understanding of who we were. Ndo imba utizi pakanga paini kaku nzwisi saka kazika. Kekuti taira tiri wanani. Students of prophecy. Wazizi we prophet, we prophes. In that history, Another component that was a positive phenomena, but also which had a very negative and dark side to it, which I'm not referring to, is that there was no organization. When I mean no organization, I don't mean zero. I mean there was not anything to, there was no organization to really speak about. And do not purpose no organization and do not have a choice. And do not have a choice. Apanaya tayi, yae batika ya tayi nyatotu tawani shayi. Broadly speaking, we were all equal. Tishin yaso tawara paya china, tese takanga takaye nzana. And... I, as I've said, that created an atmosphere where we were teachers and students. And I believe there was a willingness, an acceptance even. Do not end out pakanga pai ne willingness, we kugamchira. For people to teach and perhaps make mistakes. Now even back in that history, there were good teachers and bad teachers. And I think that has changed now. Because for me, and the history that I am part of, the definition of a good teacher is not the one that teaches the truth. That doesn't make mistakes. It doesn't teach error. I feel we have too much of that nowadays. I think it's had a chilling effect within our movement. Because competent and able teachers are not doing their job. Because they're fearful of making mistakes. And I want to suggest if we had had that culture before, this movement would never have been built. To me, what makes a person a good teacher is if they can get a complex subject and explain it simply. And most people that stand before God's people most scientists 
ma scientists wa shinji fail in this one aspect of their work ano kundika na mu aspect imwe chete i yeah, to me, a good teacher is not someone who teaches the truth. It's someone who has the ability, the gift, to distill complex ideas and simplify them. And if we don't continue to cultivate that atmosphere that culture in our movement tikasaramba tichisakurira atmosphere iyo yo culture iyo yo movement yedu we will destroy ourselves tino zviparadza toga we will have a dearth which means none or very few teachers there will be a dearth of teachers they will feel the pressure of only teaching the truth now that may sound obvious because that's what we all should expect the truth not a lie but in real life what that actually means is that people don't extend what our current knowledge base is and so I'm ho- I hope this doesn't come as a disappointment to yourselves but an example of this problem is that when people start identifying individuals as particular angels or messengers but i'm not saying now i'm not saying that doesn't have a place it does and this I'm not saying that certain individuals should not or cannot be considered as prophetic angels or messengers. And this and this could wango my individuals wafanirika na utava kwansi ku identify wasema prophetic messengers. That's the only one track mindset that we have. We are in trouble. Aska na ingo riyo yoga fungwa ya tina yo. Uh, this movement is bigger than any one individual movement ino yakakura kupfura munhu mumwe chete i'm not lifting myself up but i want to say that i've been in this movement for a long time now and this kuzvisimudzira asi ndoda kutaura kuti ndagara movement ino kwenguva yakareba and i've seen people teachers rise to the upper echelons of this movement ndakaona vanhu madzidzisi vachikwirira kupamsoro soro mu movement ino and it seemed to me at the time if those people were to leave this movement would be destroyed kwandiri zvaita sekunge panguva iyoyo ndeye vana vaisiya movement movement yaipa culture permeates through this movement bad things happen culture yo yo paino pinda mu movement ino ichimwiri zvakashata zvinoitika zvandakadzidzwa namwe ari kuburikidza ne experience because i saw several of these mighty people rise up and fall nekuti ndakaona vanhu vari maiti ava vachisumuka vachizodona zvakare Everybody used to hang on every word that they would say. When they left, it seemed that we would have no future left. But here we are. Decades after this movement began, 
makore ne makore movement ino yatanga teacher after teacher has come and gone vadzidzisi umwe ne umwe vakauya vachienda god uses us god mwari doesn't need us anoti shandisa mwari mwari havati need isu when i say us i mean individual people pandinoti isu ndinoreva ma individuals so i want to really encourage us saka ndoda kuti kurudzira to become good teachers kuti tive madzidzisi vakanaka which means to stand up and ask good questions of ourselves and of one another zoreva kuti tosumuka tichifunza mifunzo yakanaka tichifunza na pachedu uye tichifunza nezve genuine discussion to encourage a ma discussions are genuine healthy debate ma debates are healthy and if you don't agree with what i say kana usingati ndirani nezvandenda taura don't get angry haikona zvikuru don't get upset haikona kutsama don't leave usasiya study to show yourselves approved and show why i'm wrong dzidzai muzviratidza kunge muri vakakodzera mundiratidza kuti ndiri zvinhu we can have a healthy fight tova nekakurisana kari healthy and when i say you and me it's you and any teacher pandinoti iwe neni zviri kureva iwe ne mudzidzisi so it's intention um to another concept isi zvinoita kunge zvine makakatano ne mukodzi we should only be teaching the messages that all the test has has presented kuti tinofana kunge tichingodzidzisa ma message aya ka present na order test but i don't believe it is asa ndifunge kuti anditende kuti ndizvazvo before elder test joined this movement kwema kore elder test vasati va join a movement in the only message that everybody taught were the words of elder jeff message yoga yakadzitswa nevanhu vese mazwi yakanga ataurwa na elder jeff but the message is big enough asi message yakakura zvikuru kwazvo for other good teachers to rise up and teach kuti vamwe madzidzisi vakanaka vasunge and express things that others have not seen vona zvino niko expressa zvino zvisati vaone kwane vamwe vanhu and also to teach in another style uye kudzidzisa neimwe style yakasiyana so we're talking about the relationship between priests and levites sakatukutora ne relationship iri pakati pema priests ne malevites and to be honest what's more important to me kubuda pachena zvinhu zvakanyanya kukosha kwandiri is not that it has created controversy amongst us which it has akuskuti zvaka create makakatano pakati pedu eh zvaka zvaka more that it's forced people to think asi chakatonyanya ndechekuti zvakamanikidzira vanhu kuti vafungi and that is more important to me at this stage of this study ndo zvakanyanya kukosha kwandiri uh, muzvara nasi pachidzidzo and having people agree pane kungoti vanhu vange vachingotendera kuti truthful information always goes through a life cycle information yechokwadi ino ramba ichingoenda through life cycle it begins with the idea ino tanga ne idea people yacho. say this is crazy it's wrong it cannot be so anono tash ndizvikupenga azvizi zvechokwadi azvifanunge zvakadaro people start thinking oh i wish i had thought of that it's a good idea uh, manozo tanga kuti ah dinda kafunga nezvazvo nai i idea yakanaka and it ends up becoming established truth shinopesira chato chokwa dichiri established if you've been in this movement for about 7 years at least 
Kana unga wari movement ino kwe makura ni kona ita manunga at least. Cast your mind back if you're able to. Isafu nguwa za kukuma shuri kana wajukua nisa. Look at the subjects that not only me, but I will talk about myself, that I have introduced, that have gone through that cycle. Talisa ya masubjects, ndaka introduce, akwete ni ndoga, asa akaenda through masaikos iwai. Subject of the wheat and tears is only one of them. There are numerous ones. Subject ya ma wheat and tears, ingwari imwe ya ima subjects, wai, aka wanda mashinji kwa ashu. The 25-20, is it about time or is it about intensity 2520 it was established truth that it was all about time established truth even i parroted that lie that 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 wrongness i don't want to call it a lie that mistake until I began to look at it more and more, and I began to talk to people. And it didn't make sense. So I slowly began to say that it's about intensity. And the controversy began. Controversy katanga. It didn't take six months to fix that problem. It took a few years before other leading people, which were teachers really, got on board and accepted that and began teaching the same. And now you don't have people in this movement who see any other way except intensity. strange to me. Is that if you could ask anybody to look at the verses now, all they can see is intensity. And people who were just as clever, if not more clever, in the past could only see time. I think we should all have a level of humility. Not just personal humility. But corporate humility. Humility onto one another. If mistakes are taught. So be it. If things aren't understood properly, have the humility to think that you could be wrong. Something that I want to come to over and over again in future studies. Is that we are supposed to be a movement. And I know perhaps in different languages this may not work. But in English, the root word of movement is to move. Which means to me to go from one position of understanding to another. Because we're not moving geographically. So why are we surprised that we come to the place that we look at things differently? And more importantly, 
why are so many of you surprised that I don't have all the answers to your questions? Because the fact that I can't answer all your questions is not evidence that what I'm teaching is not the truth. Maybe there are questions I haven't thought about. Maybe someone else will have the answer. There are many reasons. And the fact <laughs> is that the belief that I'm not teaching the truth is only one of those options. And it's not number one. Panema reasons akawanda and the belief you could and this could such a quad the I see your reason in the Iston Borio number. Okay, so with that preamble. All right, Tata or I see if I can try to answer some of the questions that I receive. The kind of not into no gonna go pindra minimum funzo yandakawana. So trying to simplify some of these questions isn't that straightforward. Okay, so one of the things that people struggled with um, in several of the questions is the relationship between the individual and the corporate group. relationship Moon, are individual, we uh, really movement. So, what I'm saying is that when it comes to a group or a body, prophecy is pretty clear. Prophecy is easy to make conclusions. But when you come down to the individual level, it becomes more difficult to ascertain what's happening to that individual. A long time ago, I used to use this phrase. We all know about the wheat and the tears. People talk about knowing who are wheat and who are tears. Which is all straightforward, of course. By their fruit, you shall know them. But you can get good tears and bad wheat. And without filling this model out and explaining it, I am suggesting, which I didn't do in the past, that it's not that easy to discern between a bad wheat and a good tear, they look very similar. It's only when each of those two individuals exhibit their natural characteristics that you can see the difference. We behave like wheat and tears behave like tears. Wheat Another important point to remember on that previous study, which is relevant today is that the field is the world. Um, is the church. Is this so it can be considered on all three levels. 
Saka shino kona kukonsidwa pa malevo SI ar matatu. And when you consider on each of those levels, you have to correctly apply who are the wheat and who are the tears and what the issues are between them. Pauno shitari sa pa malevos ay ari matatu akasiana. Unufana ukonsita uti ndian ma wheat, ndian ma tears. Ma msianu pakati pao ndi yiki. Yakanya yukufawa ndi yu yika. Mekutu mnuesa ntungufasi wa kuti wheat ndi yipi. The church and the Gentiles. But Ellen White wants to teach us it's not the world, it's the church. As Ellen White adult zota isi nyika, ikereke. And then depending on where you want to take that idea, it can be, we will just call it Protestantism and Adventism. Ino kuna ongi ngori protestantism ni adventism. So, if it's not protestantism and adventism, and we make that the adventist church. Kana isi ngori protestantism ni adventism, tombo yita kereke adventist. Then you have adventism and this movement. Then unuwa ni adventism ni movement ino. Then when you come to this movement, then it gets problematic. Pauno soe ya kumovement ino, tunutanga kuona maji matambu tziko. Because now all the priests are wheat and tears. Neguti ma priests ese pane pane ma wheat ni ma tears. When it comes this close to home, pashinu uya kupejko pejko ni mumba. People are apt, people are inclined to point at one another saying you must be a tear or you must be a wheat. Wanu wanu fawa manjira kudaku nungeza na uti iwa unufana unge uri te. And we have had to slap the hand of teachers who do that. Because of the problems that it causes. And I only want to say that's because they're not good teachers who are doing that. I don't mean literally not good teachers, I just mean they're not using a good teaching style, of course, because they are good teachers. And you're going to start doing a study on the wheat and tears at this movement level, you have to do it carefully. Kana ucha aso ita study yema wite ntez pa movement level. Unifana kuita shirikefu. Assuming what I've just said is true. Saka, tichi aso yema uti shandava kutawara ishi ndia shi chukwadi. That you can take that model and bring it down to various levels right down to this movement. Kutuno kuna kutora model iwo iwunza pa malevo sakasi ya nasi ya na kushikira ifen pa movement level. I'm not asking you to agree to that today, but you need to go back and come to a conclusion on this point. And skuti shiite inasa as mufana kutokera. Mashure monoshka pa conclusion pa point iyo i. Because the subject of the Levites and priests or nethanims and the church it's all predicated on an understanding of that study. Neguti subjects ima Levites, nema priests, nema nethenims, ne church, iyaka, iyaka ehe ngwapa study iyoi. So I hope you can see the logic of what I've just said, even if you disagree with what I've said. So kando imba watu munuona o logic yesu anduku taura, kunyangu msinga tendira nini yesu anduku taura. You can say that I've made a mistake somewhere and you can see where I've made the mistake, but I want you to see the logical steps that I've taken to come to that position. Munuku na kutinda kaita ma mistakes, and munuona panda kaita ma mistakes, papi pachu. As nilu watu munuona ma logical conclusions, e ma steps andaka tura kushikira pa conclusion. If I haven't explained the steps properly, you're not able to make a decision of whether what I've said is true or false. Kanan sina kuisa ma steps aya shakana ka then am kwansuita decision ni kuti zvanda taura icho kwade iri kana kuti ine. I've taken a relatively complex parable. Asinda katora parable iri complex and simplified it 
at various levels, world church movement. Dika is simplify pa ma levels a kasiana siana. Nyika church and even movement. though I haven't explained the dynamic at each of those three levels, I'm saying that they do exist and they are explainable. And I've done that in the past. Now, if we come is full of plants, Toti, munda wedu wakasara, miche, ma plants, arima priests. You would rather call them full of the 144,000, that's fine. Kana wakadaku wadai za ushti ma 144,000, shakana kafutu. It's full of us. Yakasara nesu. If that is true, kana ichichiri chokwadi. What does that teach you? Shino kuzizi sa kutikudi. That there are, I will call, good priests, and bad priests. And depending upon the point that's being made, the study that's being given, we define good and bad by the fruit. And in the context of this movement, that fruit would be the acceptance or rejection of equality at the simple level. Movement in context Not just the theoretical acceptance of that truth, but what fruit it bears in your life. So you can have done the baptismal vows, but that isn't enough. So I'm not going to go over how to do baptismal vows. As I said, I'm not going to. We'll say it this way simply: you have to live the truth. Tiango stora nzire iri simple kutu unofana kurara majukwa. If you're okay with that, can achieve farane ishi. Then what is the definition of a priest? Saka. No, it cannot be a bad person. And based upon this model, they are not good definitions. So, what is an all encompassing definition? Saka definition in Usangan Sirash Vesendeep is based upon geography. Where did the priests live? Where did they reside? Their plants, remember? My plants They live in the field of the householder. So I'm trying to take a step by step of the logic that this study is built on. And I'm not saying this is done in a, in a logical order. It may not be. Okay, so now we have to use William Miller's rules. Parable teaching. A parable teaching. Juxtapositioning. Compare and contrast, all of that. Juxtaposition, compare and contrast, If I can go from the world to the church to the movement, and, and, and say they're identical models, then now I've got a powerful working model. Model iri powerful yekushanda nayo. And I'm saying based upon repeating patterns, um, comparing, contrasting, that's what we are allowed to do. Ndote nini tichi pesa ni ma repeating patterns, ni ma compare and contrast, ndo shatino tende zwa kuita. That to me is good teaching. 
Kwandiri nini uku ndoku kona kudzidzisa? Backtaking is the following. Kudzidzisa kwa kashata ndekuno tevera. Ellen White did it and if she says it so, it's so. Ellen White akashita. Saka kana akashitaura ndizvo zvichitori. Nekutano daro. She says the verse says it's the world but we need to see it as the church. Ano te verse noti i world astofana kuiona se church. And if she speaks, it must be the truth. I'm suggesting that is a bad teaching style. Okay, so if we can get those three levels and say they're all the same. Repeating patterns. Repeating patterns. Then the dynamic, the internal dynamics in each one of those three models must also be identical. Saka ma dynamics emkati, every models is a yari matatu, anufana unge akafana nao. As Ezekiel would say, wheels within wheels. So, shunuta uro na Ezekiel wachiti, mafiri, yari mkati me mau mafiri. So, if on the lowest level, it's, that field is filled with priests. Kana pa lowest level, field yi yaka zara ne ma priest. And what's the definition of a priest? Definition of a priest in the Yip. They're in the field. Varimu Munda. It's not their, I will call it their moral behavior. I see moral behavior, I will quit. It's not their prophetic response. I see prophetic response, I It's not their behavior. Because they're in the field. And that is what defines who and what they are. The field is filled with good priests and bad priests. But they're priests. And they're priests. They're priests. They're priests. If you agree with that premise, you take it one level up. And we go to the church. We'll call that church Adventism. There are two plants in Adventism. Good ones and bad ones. Akanaka neakashat. A recurring theme in these questions is that we will call the good plants in the Adventist church I shouldn't say the Adventist church, I should say the church. Because all the other religions, all the other denominations are in the third group, the top one. I hope you all understand that. So in the church, there are people in this movement who believe. Okay, so I hope when I broke that sentence up, it made sense. People in this movement believe something about the church members. They agree there are two groups. Good Adventist, bad Adventist. And what they have done is they've given a name to the good ones. And if we had chat on, I could say to everybody, what is the name of the good ones, the good Adventists? And you'd all shout out. Levites. My Levites. Good. But then my second question is going to be the obvious one. 
What's the name of the bad Adventists? Ko zitarem Adventista kashata rinonza. Why are you thinking about that? Muchifunga ne shasho. What's the name of the bad priests? Zitarema priests wa kashata rinonza ani. Tez is not the right answer. Tez are isirom indro yakanaka. Because then the name of the good Adventists is what? Nekuti zitare Adventists akana karno zani. Not Levites, but wheat. So you can't use that terminology. Nekuti Levites asi wheat. Sakati kono kushanza terminology iyo. So if the name of the bad priests is priests, sakazitare mu priest akasha atakanariri ro priest. And the name of the good priest is priests. Zitarem priest aka naka richins shakari priest. Through trickery of all of my words, you know what the name of the bad Adventist is. Ah, muku trika kwanda ita ne mashoko angu ese muno ziva zitare Adventist aka shata odindia. Levites. Levites. So Levites then just becomes another term for Adventists. Saka Levites, zirun varangu varimwe isu, iru nungu daiza ma Adventists. Good ones. Wakanaka. And bad ones. Ne wakashata imomu. And I think, the sticking point, the difficulty that some people have, pano goshi rawa ruan wakawanda. And I'm not saying I'm right. I'm spotting the correct. I'm just laying out my understanding to you. Is that we disagree? On what a Levite is. And if you thought Levites were only good Adventists, and I thought Levites were all Adventists, can I watch forgot Mulivite? You can begin to see why we come to very different conclusions. Okay, so I hope that in today's presentations, yet this morning's and now, those of you who have got a problem with me are saying, finally he's explaining himself. So, I hope, whether or not I'm correct, whether or not you agree or disagree, I hope I've explained why there seems to be a problem that people are having. To me, it doesn't matter at this stage in this study who is right or wrong. If I'm wrong or you're wrong, I don't see that as a failure. I'd rather call it growth or education. Now, when it comes to the individual and the group, unless I had spyware and I could investigate you, I don't know whether or not you're being a hypocrite. And this when I see you. So it's very easy to hide. The easiest way to hide is not speak. It's to not show your ignorance. So what I'm saying is when it comes to individuals, it's not that easy to know who is saved and who isn't unless you have access to that person 24-7 for a long time period. 
Chandu kutaran shota as sinyore kusawot ndiyana anu ponesik and ndiyana singa ponesik. Unless we ni access kumunu ui 24-7 kwen kwa refu ya karibesis. And even a long time time period is not enough. Even kwa ya karibai na kunya tupan. You have to wait till the end. Ufana kumira ushikira kumagumo. In my opinion. Ndo kufunga kwangu. Many will be overthrown. Vashinji, vacha kundikana, vacha ufakruyo. Vashinji vapi? Many good people. Vashinji vaka naka. We have to be careful how we define good. Tinufangiti kefu tutia define a good say apa. Those who are on the right side of the issue. Awa variku right side ye enya yacho. They will fall. In verse 41, in the Sunday law history at the Lao Cry. Vachadona, Mufis 41, Mu Sunday law hist, Palaud Cry. And without talking about any particular individual, Tsinkataurinizema individuals, I think we should be careful to judge individual people's cases before the time. Which not only includes, but specifically is dealing with those people in the movement who have left. We should take care to not judge people care. until the time. Don't just use your eyes or your logic or your experience but experience use a prophetic ruler to gauge people's destiny. Shandi sai prophetic rule akuti mugeje destiny tsevan. And on the line of the 144,000, that is in the future still. Pa line 144,000 fichiri kumberi. So I don't want to continue laboring the point. Andura mbanchitara nenye ii. But I'm saying we cannot, I cannot go to an individual and know their eternal salvation. But like I can know the eternal destiny of an organization, a group, or an institution, I can know the eternal destiny of a group, a organization, a group, a book. Because Acts 27 teaches that, and that's not the only place. It can know the outcome of groups. This is the church, this movement. movement in Adventism is going to crash. Adventism each a crash. You're already in one entity you're either in the entity of this movement or you're in the entity of the church and if you're in that ship you need to jump ship and you need to come into this group if you don't your destiny then gets wrapped up with the destiny of the ship. So we can identify what happens to groups. But not what happens to individuals until a particular way mark. So, the problem with this statement, so, statement is that it challenges in people's minds 
the idea or the concept of harvest. What does it mean that priests are harvesting? Dekutish no challenge jam from what they want idea you have is to nobody may go to my priest one who have is to but if you want to if you want to conceptualize that we are now going to harvest adventism ask an old doc who's is something where my cookie is news to go have is to adventism all i'm suggesting is chandu go suggest and the chicken which is different to some of you is that when we go to that field it's decimated it's only the odd wheat here and there it's filled with tears they choked decimated and killed the wheat I'm not changing the definition of what harvest looks like. I'm just saying it's not going to look as beautiful as you think. And this could change our definition of what you have to know that it's like saying to go to a red ticket to a naka sister to go to a typhoon get out in India. Okay, so let me go to someone else. So, people are saying that Levites aren't saved. I'm saying Levites who don't join this church, they lose their ability, the vehicle for salvation. I haven't created a new model. Salvation is not a DIY venture, which means in English you can't do it yourself. Ruponeso arus DIY venge. Joreva mchirungu kuta uko niku shipo nesa weka. At the level that we speak about. Palefo ya tinuta ora nisha ayu. You can't be saved just in some private fashion between you and God. Auko niku upo nesa kwa nisira ili private kwa katipa kwa iwewe na mwari. I haven't made that up. It's straight out of Matthew 13. And this is in the Shikas race. She did not talk from straight from the Matthew 18. The tear can't shout to the householder, Yeah, I'll be on your side. Tear, her conuda is the Kunemuri to Munda put ah and the Changin Tribu di Rain. Let's forgive and forget. And getting Kokanga no iterate. Forget all of these things. Tongo Kanga was she says. These workers. Tokanga no Vashanti. No, the householder says. If you want to come into the barn, into my barn, you have to come in through one of the workers. Household, I'm not going to go up in the mo mo in by young one of an auto pinda. Burgit's a name, Mura Shadi Vava. One of the reapers has to reap you. Umura checker of an aku checker. And when they reap you, if you don't look right, you're not coming in. And the pair will say, well, I don't trust the judgment of the reaper. I trust you, te, boss. Te in, and trust the judgment and don't go And the householder says, tough luck. This is the way I operate. This is how my business model works. You don't have a say in that. Murid Zwempa of Water are tough luck in in dome, shantry wang, dome operated away business rank with our own say machine. I'm not talking about personal salvation, that is not and what this movement was created to discuss. And Scutter and personal salvation as this city is a movement in Yakasumuzi Rock to discuss. Each of us needs to wrap our minds around these two models. 
because they are not the same and they operate differently. Mwana mwana mfana kuputira pfungwa dzao pa ma models maviri aya nekuti akasiyana a operate zvakafanana. If you are a Levite, the only way you can be saved according to the parabolic model Kanaori mu Levite ndira yoga yaono kuna kusevwa tichitarisa pa parabolic model. You need someone to reap you. All of them will get reaped. Once that happens, some will be brought into the heavenly Ghana, the barn, and some will be put on the fire heap and destroyed. So when I say that the Levites are not going to be saved, what I'm talking about are the bad Levites. Now, today's study is not about when the Sunday law is. But I'm saying it's sooner than many of us think. Some of us, I shouldn't say many, because I don't know how many. And and it seems to me that we are fast running out of time to get this huge crop of Levites. So when I say there aren't going to be any Levites, we're talking about percentages, not literal numbers like zero or one or none. There are Levites joining this movement today. But it's not based upon the model that many of us conceptualized. We were hoping for a large harvest, and it seems to me that that is not going to happen. And the body of Levites cannot be saved without this movement. And the numbers that are going to join us are just not there in the way that we thought before. And as I've said, no one can answer for individuals. Those people who have left this movement, they could repent, they could be watching a presentation, they could humble themselves and come back. And if they were, would we reject them? Of course we wouldn't. Okay, so Levites are both the good and the bad in the church. I've explained that. I'm just going through the questions so I'll, I'll try to answer as many as I can. So this model obviously works for the Nephilims as it does for the Levites. Okay, so I hope I've answered that person's questions. So some people didn't understand what I said in the previous presentation. Uh, I did not say the following. And I did not say that Levites as a group cannot and will not be saved. I did not say that. And not Levites I said that the prophetic model that all of us, I think, believe teaches that they cannot be saved without us. 
Nakati prophetic model ya ataka zizi ya tuno zivatese. Tee kuta wako ni kupone seka pasina isuzu. It's not a DIY venture. Can't do it yourself. Aisi, nyaya kuti ndinu kuna ushpone sa ndega. Muna hako ni ushpone sa ega. Our understanding of the harvest, I don't believe is wrong. I think what we have misunderstood because we have visions of grandeur. Is that this movement would be overflowing, swelling with large numbers of Adventists joining us. And I don't believe it's going to be the numbers that people in this movement have hoped, dreamed, believed that it would be. And don't So people think that. Why do the Levites even need us? Why can't they work it out themselves? I don't want to be rude or disrespectful in answering that. But I will be. Come on, how can someone come up with such a silly question? How are you saved? You didn't open Leviticus 26 and work it out yourself. You didn't understand Daniel 11 through your own sweat and tears, your own studies. Except the someone in this movement who will claim that they had some dream or vision every single one of you have to sit at the feet of a priest and learn this message learn this truth for us to imagine that a Levite in the church can figure it out themselves. Is if, if you couldn't manage it, they won't. The Ethiopian eunuch was reading scripture, the correct scripture. The one that he'd been led to by God, if I can suggest that, and he had no idea what it meant. Mu Ethiopian yuna kaito eringa ma maguaro chayo chayo ari correct. Anga atunga mirwa namu ari kwa ari. Asi hana kusunzi sari ega. Ninety-nine point nine nine percent is a hundred percent. Ninety-nine point nine nine percent. Itori hundred percent. God dreams gives dreams and visions to point zero zero one percent of people, which means to nobody really. Marano pasiroto ni ma vision kune zero point zero zero one percent. Jingo re wakuti apana ano piwa. Why did God not give that man a dream or a vision? Because he's by himself. It should teach us something important that God does a miracle and transports, I don't know how that happened, transports Philip, I'm going to say hundreds of miles, tens of miles, whatever it is, to meet this man miraculously. It's far easier for God to give the person a dream. Make him clever. Could have got the donkey to talk to him. 
akatove ne dongi kuti ritaure naye no asa ana kupiwa this dispensation mu dispensation ino god does what god needs to do to prove a point to teach a lesson mwari vanoita zvanofanira kuita kuti va prove a point kuti vatidzidzise chidzidzo god's people have to run vanhu vamwari vaifanira kutomhanya God's people have to run. Vanhu vamwari vanotofanira kumhanya. Running. Kumhanya chaiko. I use that term metaphorically. Iri varanda rishandisa se se chirao. The mechanism that God is going to use. The technique is to get human beings to do this work. And those human beings are what we would call the priest today. Muto chashandiswa namwari unotoshandiswa namwari ndewe kuti vanhu vanhu He's going to use this movement to do a work. He does he takes the apostles to do a work. Akashansa mamila rights kuita basa. Anoshansa movement ino kuita basa. So kushansa kwa akaita ma disciples vadzidzi kuita basa. God groomed Saul. Mwari vaka groom Saul from childhood kuva ari chanana allowed Saul to commit mayhem akatendera Saul kuti aite zvinhu zvanga zvine chaos mayhem and murder akatomtendedza kuti atouraya part of his training kwaito vakutrena kwaaita because god knew nekuti mwari vaiziva that without this man the gentiles could not be saved kuti pasina murume uyu ma gentiles havaizoponeseka they are in bondage and they cannot save themselves vari muhutapwa uye havakwanisi kuzviponesa vega so he raises him up changes his name cleans him up and sends him on a mission saka anoreza sauro omu permission omu chenesa And if you think Paul literally turned the world upside down you are joking you are kidding yourself. Percentage wise there were only few people that he touched. But those who came within his sphere of influence were radically changed. Asi vakauya musphere of influence ya Paul vakachinjwa zvaito va radical. So I'm saying I don't believe we've taught anything wrong. Saka ndikuti handifunge kuti pane chatakadzidzisa chaachiri wrong. This is not a rewriting of our prophetic message. This is a reevaluation of it. Uko akuzunyora patsva kwe message yedu ye chiprofita tukungo evaluate apatsva. Small adjustment, small tweaks. If tweaks is a translatable word kuisa ma adjustments mashoma shoma uh, nezvimwe zvishoma zvatiri kungowedzera okay, I am running out of time so I don't I think I've answered most people's questions I hope ndakuperera nenguva asi ndovimba kuti ndapindira mivunzo yevanhu vazhinji there, there have been people who have asked me questions during the presentation Kuna I can't answer because I can't read their questions and and in live time in real time I can't do that I'm sorry. Kuna ano ndi funza mfunzo pakati pe presentation andi kuno kuipindura nekuti andi kuno kuverenga mfunzo pa real time ndichivanda toipindura ipapo. I'm going to close with this question. Ndichafara nemfunzo uyu. And out of all of them this is the only one I'm just going to read the beta. Pane yese ii ndiyo uga uyu wa ndicha veringa. Because I like this question. Ni uti ndiyo mfarira mfunzo uyu. If so few Levites will join the movement. Kana ma Levites wa shoma shoma vari wa wacha join the movement inu. And can only be saved through the movement. Uye wa shungu kuna kupone seka chete kuburikiza ni movement inu. Will just a few of them be saved? Sino reva ere kuti wa shoma shoma wacha pone seka. So. Don't worry about the logic of the question because it's logical everybody knows the answer. 
musave ne wari ne logic he mfunzo nekuti iri logical vanhu vese vanosanganisa I don't know what's in anybody's heart but what seems to me at the root of this question and this is zviri mumwe memuno asi zvino tinoona kunge zviri pamudzi we mfunzo uyu how can it be that so few people at the end of the world will be saved ko zvina ukoneka sei kokuti vanhu vashoma shoma pakuguma kwenyika vachaponeseka and if we could grasp hold of that kana chikona kubata bitisisa izvozvo conceptualize it and internalize it to zvifunga nezvazvo mupfungwa dzedu to zvi then we would be like internalize tichange tirisa noa i don't think up to this point and ifungi kuti kusvika pa point ino can you interject we would be like elijah ndichataura kuti tichange tirisa elijah we haven't got to a point where we feel pain atsata svika pa point iyo tino wadziwa not just pain at such few numbers kwete kurwadziwa marwadzo e manamba mashoma chete for something which people have been af- afraid to ask me i think asi chino icho vanhu vanga vachichika kundivhunza ndofungidzira to me if you're familiar with this term it's the elephant in the room it's the real question kwandiri ndiyo mpfunzo chayo chayo uri muimba ino ndiyo mpfunzo chayo chayo which is unobaiwo the futility of anything and everything that you do kuti udzamu we chiru chenu chimwe nechimwe chese cha unoita a waste of time energy and money ku waste kwati noita nguva energy nemari that you individually we collectively collectively expend on this project iwe semu individual isuse boka rese yatinoshandisa pa project iyoyi because when we look at the returns nekuti patinotasa ma returns acho it looks like it was a complete waste of time zvo itasokunge kwakanga kuri ku pambadza nguva and so i think the real question is what's the point of everything sasa ndofunga kuti mpfunzo chayo chayo ndeyo kuti donzore zvinhu zvese izvi ndere iko and if you want to know the answer to that question kada kuziva mhinduro yemvunzo iwoyi stay tuned ramba imakaterera not really i'll give it now ndichakupai mhinduro yacho izvi go to the story of noah endai kunyaya ya noah after 120 years he's able to save how many people kwapera makore 120 anokwanisa kuponesa vanhu vangani none hapana they all perish vese vanofa even many of the priests kunyango vashinji vema priesta even the ones he bribed kunyango vamwe vakatotenga they just don't make it havana kutoponeseka so the question is what's the point samfunzo ndo kuti saka zvine maturo here remember the answer is connected to the question rangarirai mvunzo minduro yakabatana nemvunzo wacho and the question depends upon one's perspective mvunzo unobva ne perspective yemunhu unless noah had followed every single step kunze kwekuti noah akatedzera mi ma steps ese akapua he would not have been saved iye noah aisa kuponeseka and that's what's important to understand ndo chakakosha kunzisisa the creation of this movement the work that it does kugadzirwa kwe movement ino basa ra inoita its primary purpose is to save the priests purpose yayo iri primary ndeye kuponesa ma priests and once your salvation is secure kana kuponeseka kwako kwa kwa secure which today it is not uko nasa kusati kwa secure it's not saved yet it's not confirmed atsati ta confirmwa still plenty of time to fail pashi nengu vashinje kuti vanhu vanogona kufoira you have to exercise and train 
Unafana ku exercise and ku train. You have to do your job. Unafana tu itabasara ku. Which is to go to the world and teach. Kunawea eko kuenda kunyika. Unu zizisa. The people who understand the most are the people who teach the most. Manu anu zizisa shaka nyanya. Ndo vanu anu zizisa shaka nyanya. I should really say the people who teach the best. Ndinufana utu tundu vanu anu zizisa. Uh, the Those best. who become the wise. Awanosweta uh, wanunzi the wise. In its true sense, up to the end. Mu shokwa di sha 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 se kushka kumagumo. It may sound cruel. It may sound selfish. Shweta onge shine utsinye mkati. Shweta onge jiri selfish. Few are chosen, but many are called. Jesus said to the widows, Don't weep for me. Jesus kune I say to you, Don't weep for the Levites. Jesus said, Weep for yourselves. I say, Weep. For your own salvation. Because if you think your salvation is secure today, you are gravely mistaken. You and I are in grave danger. And we might be able to save people. But it's God's will that we're not lost. And the only way you're not lost is by following instructions to the letter. I've not been able to answer everybody's questions. I'm sure this study has generated new questions and not answered the old ones. These are difficult questions. Not just because they're intellectually or logically difficult. Which, which they are. But it's because they're emotionally difficult to deal with. Let's pray. Holy God, I thank you. I thank you for the privilege of being able to come to you and to reason with you. I also am thankful for the privilege of being able to talk and discuss these things with my fellow travellers. Lord God, we have been on this journey for a long time. Many of us had ideas that we would finish this journey long ago. We are on the very verge of the great events foretold in prophecy. All that we have taught has come to pass. Yes, we may have made mistakes along the way. But even as we stumbled, you never let go of us or lost sight of us. As we come to the point in history where the demands upon us are the highest. Where you expect more of us than you did in the past. 
Apo muna expecta zvishinji kufa kwa tiri pane zwa maitarisira kare. I pray that you would have mercy upon us. Dona mata utumuti nzuiro otsitsi. That we would learn to have mercy upon one another. Tikono otsitsi raku unzuwa otsitsi kune wangwe vedu. Lord, Mwai. many of us have got old in this movement. Mashinji vedu wa chempera wari movement ini. We are beginning to physically and mentally get tired. Panyama, ni mfungwa taku tanga kunita. The responsibility and the work is large. Responsibility ni basa racho, shaka kura. But the work is a few. Asina no shanda nduo wa shumu. Many of us are not only getting older, but we are becoming frail with illness. Mashinji wedu atisukungo chempira cheta, sita haku fufunyuka ni na uye kusiruhere. There are members amongst us who are unwell. Pane ma members pakati pedu vasiri kunzwa shakanaka. Through no mistake or fault of their own. Isiri mistake kana shikonzero shoshwe chincha wanga wawa kaita. But the ravages of illness and age takes its toll upon all of us. Asi, shino itika ne kukura ne jirwere, shino vinga umwene umwewele. As each of us takes a moment to consider our own welfare, apa umwene umwa anu turanguwa kutafunke ne shwe welfare yake. Of those who are close to us and we know well, ne welfare yeva nu varipechu kune su, watinu da shi watinu ziva shukuru. Help us to spend a moment thinking about those among us in this movement who we don't know. Who today are fearful for the future. Who are in pain. Who find it difficult to look forward to tomorrow because of the circumstances they are in. Anona shaka uma kutuatari sile mangwana ni kudakwe masika mstinza wano shuwana wari maari. Lord, there are many names in this movement that we could lift up to you. Mwari, pani mbazita kawanda movement ino watinu kuna kusumu zira kwa muri. But today I want to present four to you. Asimu zwara na asimu kutuwa kuprezenta vana mkatime maukwe. Each of these four people are unwell, they are ill. Umwene umwe vana vana vana. Gravely ill. And I believe it would give them some joy and some comfort. If they were to hear their names being lifted up to you, knowing that hundreds of people who either know them or don't know them have heard their names and have shared in this prayer. So I want to present before you Robert, Fernande, Janine, and Dominique. And for those people who are also suffering today. Whose names I have not mentioned. With these, with these four people, may they feel comfort and peace too. We thank you for the privilege of coming together this Sabbath. For some of us, a new year has already begun. For many of us, we will join the new year in a few hours. We thank you for the great privilege of life, of friendship, of family. In Jesus' name, Amen.
I want to thank everybody. I want to say bye. So we want to thank Elder Perminder for his presentation. May these messages echo and uh, make their way into our hearts. We, uh, we are now reaching the end of our program. And to finish this year and start uh, 2023, We will all uh, wave and say hello to each other by opening our cameras for those who wish it. Thank you to everyone and may God bless you. Everybody, you can open your camera. So we can greet each other before. I don't the know if people year. can hear, but people can't put their videos on because the host is not allowing them to do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a moment. Because there's only nine people on video, but they need permission. If I can be heard. Mm -hmm. Voilà, ça devrait être bon. Ah, c'est mieux. Thank you.
Maman, j'ai raté l'avion. On n'avait même pas fini, t'as même pas vu la fin de moi. Gino, comment vas-tu Ça va, ça va, ça va.